Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I got it. I got a little project I got going on now. It's this engine cover. I'm about to paint it. The owner said he want this flat black, and I think I'ma gloss this here, this silver. I'ma spray this metallic silver, and I'ma spray this black, and I'm gonna use some flat and clear to flatten it out. I might just put some gray up in here. And I'm going to leave this as it is in this here. The first step I'm doing this here is cleaning it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up. And I'm going to cut you back on. I got to wipe down from cleaning it. You want to make sure you get it clean real good. Because oil and paint do not mix. You know I got plenty of oil on it because it's an engine cover. After you get it clean and dry, the next step you want to do is sand it so the paint will be able to stick. You can use uh, a red scotch brake if you got one, or you can use something like this 320. That'll work. You don't want to put no deep scratches in it. You just want to scuff it up so the paint will stick. Let's get that started. See where I sanded this? It's doing it on off. That's how you want it. Like I said before, it ain't got to be no deep scratches because then you'll be trying to cover them scratches up. You just want to stuff it up. Enough sort of paint and stick. Just got through finishing up on the sanding. You want to make sure you sand it real good. Especially like around these spots here. You might not see it though, but if you don't sand this, this is where it's going to start flaking up and pulling up at. So you want to make sure you sand that real good. We'll sand everything, not just that. Make sure you sand every spot on here. Because if you don't, it's going to flake up and peel. So my next step is taking it back outside and washing it again. Then we're going to move on to the adhesion promoter, the plastic adhesion promoter. Stay tuned. I went on ahead and masked up my emblem. I ain't going to paint it. I just scuffed it up. I'm going to just shoot clear on top of it. Once everything's sanded, you want to go ahead and spray your adhesion promoter on it. Go ahead and spray that on it. And then you'll be ready to shoot the primer. Okay, once everything primed up, it's time to find all your imperfections and try to fill them with some glaze and put it. I'm just gonna use this glaze and put it here. Like that little spot there. 
It's another little spot there. But on this part here, I ain't trying to get it smooth because it got some kind of texture on it. And he want to keep that. I'm just going to paint this flat black. I'm going to paint it black, then I'm going to put a, a flat clear on it. Only thing I really want to get smooth is this, 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 and that. Because that's going on a metallic gray. And I'm going to put gloss clear on that so it's going to show all the imperfections. So I need to get rid of all these imperfections here. I just got some 500 grit sandpaper. I'm finna wet sand it and smooth it on out. Okay, I got everything sanded down. My first step is applying the jet black. I'm gonna put the jet black on that first. Jet black base. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the flat clear on it now. The flat clear it goes on glossy, but it dries to a flat finish. But let me show you what it looked like. three coats of the flat clear I'm gonna go ahead and mask it up and I'm gonna spray these four lines here with metallic silver I'm gonna spray this metallic silver and I'm gonna put some gloss clear on that I'm also gonna clear this SS sign I had went on and put plastic around the whole engine cover then I cut out the openings, the parts that I'm gonna paint a different color. So I'm finna go ahead and mash these areas up. Then I'll be ready to spray the metallic silver. Went on and masked it up. I also hit this with some 500 again. Try to smooth it on out.
I'm ready to shoot the base now. Put two coats of metallic silver down. This is a dark metallic silver. Once it dried, I had gotten a tack cloth and tacked it to wipe all the metallic up, the overspray metallic. I also went on to unmask this because I'm gonna put some clear on this. I just scuffed this up. Let me go ahead and spray the clear. Once you spray your last coat of clear, you want to go ahead and remove the masking tape while the clear tacking. Like I'm doing here, because you don't want to wait until the clear harden up because the clear going to bridge over the masking tape. Then you're going to have to use a razor blade to trim it. Stop. Right. 